I'm leaving London today, heading back home, and like most people, I've got to make my way from central London to Heathrow Airport. Now, coming in, I got the Heathrow Express, which is brilliant. It only takes 15 minutes from Heathrow to Paddington Station, but it does cost $25, and it does only get you to Paddington Station. You still then need to get a tube here. So I thought on the way back, what I'd do is try the new Elizabeth line, which is only recently opened, because if I can get from King's Cross to Farringdon, which is one stop on the tube, it's straight through, and it should be a lot cheaper. I'm going to time how long it takes me to get from here in King's Cross then on the new Elizabeth line to Heathrow Airport with two big bags. Is it quicker and is it less hassle? Let's find out. Okay, first stop I need to get from here. One stop to Farringdon. All right, so circle line, one stop. Five and three quarter minutes and we're on the first tube train. I should say as well, this is not particularly representative because it is a Saturday morning at about 7 a.m. So everything's pretty quiet. So this is kind of, this will be best case scenario. Six and a half minutes since we left Kings Cross Station. That's not bad actually. Now for the Elizabeth line. here to Edward Johnson. He was the guy that actually designed the round door, as they call it. That's the very classic underground sign, the circle with the line through it. One of the cool things I love about the tube is you can just tap your phone. You don't need a, an actual physical ticket. You can tap your phone, go straight through the barriers. It saves the hassle of going to the ticket machines before you need to get on the train. This bag is heavy. It's got to leave one station and walk across to the other one. It's like two minutes outside. If it's raining, maybe a hassle, but otherwise, again, on a Saturday morning, there's no one else here, so it's fine. Can I just tap on and tap, tap in? Yeah, tap in and out, that's fine. No separate ticket required for the Heathrow Express. Once again, you can just tap on and tap off, and look, there's a lift. Yeah, straight away. Minus six. Minus six. Lift to Elizabeth Line. Going down. All right, so we're here, Farringdon, so we've got to go kind of across London, then it branches off now here to the new Heathrow Airport, and we want Terminal 3. Oh, is that the train? Oh, God, hang on. Oh, no, that's not our train. What is it? No, that's not our one. Heathrow, T4, seven minutes time, so we've got a seven minute wait here now. gone so far. minutes now from Kings Cross Station to get here. So as it stands at the moment, I'm actually ahead of when I got the Heathrow Express. This is more express than the Heathrow Express. Through the gate, I'm gonna stop the clock <laughs> at exactly one hour, five minutes. So yeah, one hour and five minutes it took me on the Elizabeth line from King's Cross 
to the gates here at Heathrow when I went from Heathrow to King's Cross the other way using the Heathrow Express and the normal underground. Well, it took one hour and five minutes as well. So it's kind of almost equivalent in terms of time, but I mean, is it better and was it cheaper? So I have a plant-based diet and even though I know I'm gonna get some food on the plane, sometimes when you only have the vegan options, sometimes you get a meal which you don't really want to eat or you, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like pasta or you don't feel like something too spicy so I always just take some backup food just in case and it's also my last opportunity to have a prep and prep in the UK one of my favorite things all right I was just looking up the price of the Elizabeth line train then so if you get the Piccadilly line underground from London to Heathrow, it's going to cost you around £5.50. But that trip that I just did uh, on the new Elizabeth line, that's going to cost £12.80. So it's a lot more expensive, but it's less stock. But of course, it's a lot cheaper than the Heathrow Express. That was £25. So look, you've you just got to weigh up which you want. I mean, if you're near Farringdon, or if you can get to Farringdon easily, I reckon it's a no-brainer. Just take the, the new Elizabeth line. If you absolutely want to save money, go to Piccadilly Line. It's by far the cheapest way to do it. And if you're all about speed, then yeah, just go, go to Paddington, get the Heathrow Express. You'll be there in 15 minutes. And the major caveat, once again, it was Saturday morning when I did do that trip. So if you're traveling during in the week and maybe you've got a lot of bags maybe it's rush hour of course the times could be different but hopefully that gives you an idea what the Elizabeth line is like and now now we're going to go to Hong Kong